This is problem number three from section 4.6. It says a right triangle whose hypotenuse is root 12 meters long is revolved around one of its legs to generate a right circular cone. Find the radius, height, and volume of the cone of greatest volume that can be made this way. So let's draw the right triangle first. We know the hypotenuse of the right triangle is root 12. If they, what they're saying is they want it to be revolved. So just imagine this, uh, this end being spun around this, uh, basically being spun around this point here, and you would end up with a cone. So you spin it around this direction, and you end up with a cone. And that cone, that cone's height would be this leg, and that cone's radius, because remember this would make a circle if I spun it around this way. This would make a uh, uh, circle, so this would be the radius. And essentially you would have um, you would have the edge of the cone, right, the angled edge of the cone being root 12, height in the middle, radius there. Uh, I'd draw the picture, but it will not do it justice uh, if you draw it out yourself maybe it'll make it make help it make more sense uh, but again we're spinning this around one leg so just imagine this uh, making a 3d object where we just rotate this is our rotation point and we rotate this end all the way around 360 degrees okay so we know this is going to be the height of the cone this is the radius of the cone we also know a right circular cone, the formula for a right circular cone, is V equals pi R squared H over 3. Now I prefer to write V equals pi over 3 R squared H, so I'm going to write that here. V equals pi over 3 R squared H. I like it better this way because pi over 3 is a constant, and then it just kind of separates and looks a little nicer. So that's one of our equations, but remember, we need to take this equation, we need to take the derivative of the volume because we want greatest volume. Okay, that's our key here, it's greatest volume. So we want to take the derivative of the volume equation, set that equal to zero, and solve for one of our variables, essentially. Problem is we have two variables in here. So we need to, base, we need to get this down to having only one variable, which means we need another equation, which we can get from this right triangle. We can say that this is h squared plus r squared equals root 12 squared, which is h squared plus r squared equals 12. Now, r squared's already in the problem, so I think, I think it's smart to just solve for r squared here. So we're going to subtract the h squared over, and r squared equals 12 minus h squared. And now we're ready to substitute this for the r squared and we're down to one variable. So we end up with volume equals pi over 3, 12 minus h squared, h. All right, we'll plug this in for r squared. Let's distribute that, and I'm going to write that over here. Volume equals pi over 3, 12h minus h cubed. We're going to take the derivative of this now. So we're going to say dv, and we're doing it with respect to h, so dv over dh equals pi over 3. And I'm going to remember, put the constant out front of the derivative. So we're going to do derivative with respect to h of 12h minus h cubed. So then we get dv over dh, which is pi over 3. Derivative of 12h is 12. Derivative of negative h cubed is negative 3h squared. We're, now we have the derivative. We set the derivative equal to 0 to find our max. Notice we have a quadratic, so we will have a maximum here, and it's a downward-facing quadratic. So 0 equals pi over 3. 12 minus 3h squared. Divide by pi over 3, you get 0 equals 12 minus 3h squared. Subtract the 12, you get negative 12 equals negative 3h squared. 
Divide by negative three, you're gonna get four equals h squared. And of course, square root each side, and we would end up with h equals plus and minus two, but remember our height can't be negative, so we're just gonna say h equals two. So our height right here we know is two. Well, what's r then? And technically, do we even, I guess we do need r. They want us to find uh, the radius, so we do need r. If we didn't need r, we wouldn't even uh, need to use it. We'd just use this equation right here to find r squared, but they, they do want us to find r. So let's plug in two here. That's r squared equals 12 minus two squared. So we end up with r squared equals 12 minus four. So r squared equals eight. We do the root of that and we get r equals root eight, which is 2. Let's put that in the calculator. So root eight, two point, and they want us to round to a tenth, so that's 2.8 for an answer there for our radius. So we know the height, we know our radius. The only thing we don't know is the volume. Well, let's come up here and use this volume equation. And we're gonna say volume equals pi over three. And I'm just gonna use root eight instead of 2.8. Root eight's a more exact number, so I'm gonna say root eight squared for the radius times two. So the volume equals pi over three, well root eight squared, that's just eight. So it's times eight times two. So we end up with 16 pi over three and 16 pi divided by three is 16, they want us to round to one decimal place, 16.8. And that would be a volume, so it's meters cubed. And that's the greatest volume. This is the height and the radius that gives us that greatest volume.